It's really important to understand that traditionally we've allowed students to kind of fall into the pipeline by, by pure chance. We rely on serendipity way too much. So many times students, when they're younger, grade school level for example, are really interested in science. Science is one of their favorite subjects. As they get older, that tends to fade. So it really uh, requires a direct intervention on Argonne's part. It's saying, you know, we know what this future workforce looks like. We know what these 21st century skills are going to be like. And so instead of relying if, you know, on the serendipity aspect of it, we, we want to really say, okay, you know, what can we do directly with the students that will help them in that process? And so educational programs role in that is to really focus on the students shifting their, their identity. We call it a science identity. And, and what that science identity is, is their perception of their place in science. There's a lot of negative publicity around science. It involves too much math, too difficult, all those kind of things. Whereas what we can show them is that that's not the case. There's, there's really exciting science that you can do at all levels. But I think the exposing them uh, earlier starts to, to help it fit into their understanding of science and you know they this place exists and these things happen there. It's really important that students become critical thinkers, critical problem solvers, be able to make scientific claims on things, uh, claim evidence and reasoning and be able to articulate an argument from reasoning and all of those skills which makes a good citizen are also things that are grounded in the science and engineering spaces. If we look more broadly we can say that by doing this we're contributing to the scientific community as a whole. We're taking undergraduates and graduate students, we're training them as scientists. Hopefully that means they're going to go out into the world and become scientists and whether they come to Argonne or whether they go to a university, to another national lab or whether they go into industry, hopefully they're going to remember their time at Argonne in a positive way and that's going to lead them to be advocates for Argonne. It may lead them to come back as users in the future. It may lead them to come back as collaborators. My most simplistic answer in how Argonne can influence STEM education is just to be involved in STEM education, right? And so it's very useful to hear a scientist that's doing something and how they're applying it. It, it has a lot of value in just motivating and engaging people. And so I think the programs that that show that these are national resources that tackle science at a scale that can't be done at a university or even within a single company um, is pretty powerful. Really, it provides an experience for the students that is very, very professional. And that's really important for the students to come in and say, well, well this is fun and engaging, but also it's really important for them to realize that hey, we're working on a certain set of skills that is very, very useful. The same set of skills that scientists rely on here at Argonne. So that's kind of looking outwards, but looking inwards, to be frank, they do a lot of really great research while they're here. They get involved in projects which will lead to them being co-authors and scientific papers. Those tell a good story for Argonne and the kind of research that we're doing, and those students are contributing in a very meaningful manner. By having a strong science or STEM background, you can be really successful in any career that you choose and by exposing lots of students to that we're just making them really good citizens in which we hope they become scientists and engineers.